What's up everyone? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Should be like the alpha male strategies guy. Bellas, if you want to get some buns. Okay, huge new record for me, huge accomplishment. I decided to go balls to the wall, so to speak, and try and max out the number of girls I could bang in one weekend. And there was actually, as I will get into, there was actually some left on the table. It could have even been higher than this. It really kind of shows what kind of ridiculousness is possible here. I'm opening up the document that I wrote on the plane that gives kind of a summary of this. So uh, the current count is 1187, okay, the current lay count, 1,187. In this weekend that I'm writing about here, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? In that weekend, there was 18 new chicks, okay, 18 closes, okay, 18 new different girls that had sex, okay, and there's a bunch of new innovations and strategies that I kind of created on the fly as I was trying to go really extreme with this stuff, all right, now, <laughs> some of you probably think, ew, gross, okay, like, like I get guys that are like, ew, that's gross, why would you want to bang a lot of hot girls, it's like, why don't you go suck a dick then if that's if that's how you feel okay why don't why don't you go get married and have your, have your one chick like this this was meant to be like okay if i really fucking push limits what kind of shit can i make happen okay it was let's see five on on friday on the friday eight on the saturday which was also a new personal record for the most in a day i think my previous was six in a day and then five again on Sunday. Okay, summing up to 18. So, <clears throat> I think, okay, I told you guys, for those of you that have been following my channel for a while, I told you guys that this, and I, I want to write up a long, I don't write field reports anymore, field reports meaning summations of the night slash weekend, etc. I don't usually write those anymore, but I think I'm going to detail this all out. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, a, I still have all the text threads, from every text interaction with each of these girls, I have most of the details in my head. I should have written it up right away. And this wasn't even super recent, but it was recent enough. Um, I've been meaning to make this video. So, <clears throat> uh, but for those of you who watched my channel for a while, I've said, like, oh, I'm not going to make a million products. Okay, I, I made Occam's Razor, which covers four big things. My night game, my day game, my online game, and how to run your dates, okay? It has over 70 hidden camera infield footages, footage clips that you get to keep, okay? It shows from start to finish exactly what I'm doing, what I'm saying. It has interviews with other top experts. It has flow charts for different things to follow. It has my pull scripts, my objection answers for the top 14 objections, main objections when you go to pull from a club, take your girl home from the club. And then I didn't have another product for a couple of years, and then I realized the bread and butter of banging lots of girls and having lots of success at this is working leads. Okay, you've heard me talk about the funnel analogy where you have lead acquisition, which is collecting phone numbers, lead management, which is your texting. Okay, and that's what the second product focuses on, all your texting. And then how well you text and, and set up those leads for dates is going to determine how many dates you have. Okay, and then that third piece is, date, is lead closing. Okay, which not only includes dates straight to the house, but also dates in public, like coffee or drinks or dinner, and then bringing them back to the house, or taking girls home, basically circumventing um, lead acquisition and lead management. If you have a night game pull, okay, you meet a girl and you take her directly home, then you don't need to work the lead over text, and you just take her home and you can close there. Okay, so that would jump to the third part. So I made that second product, Leads Machine. Okay, guys, 4X, 10X, like even advanced guys were 4X in their results, their meetup rates. And I was thinking, okay, what else, you know, this cover, the Occam's covers almost everything, and then Lee's Machine really hones in on all the nuts and bolts of texting, okay, showing, I made that after just hitting 1,000 girls, and I had just over 10,000 leads in my phone, 10,000 phone numbers, contacts, and that was a really big, uh, important addition to the training, okay, because in every possible control path, including online game messaging for online game apps, I was able to come up with um, 
all the correct paths and what to do in every every case. Okay, so it's really just copy, paste, plug, and play. The links for those two are in the description. Okay, so then, but after this weekend with closing 18 in the weekend, I thought, fuck, I think I can make a third product, and a, and a good name for it would be is three day rotation. Okay, now. A lot of us are in this to have like a dream rotation or to get that dream girlfriend or whatever. But I think I know enough, like, and, there, and there's really, really, really key things I did here. And I have to make more videos about it, like new things I've never done before, um, such as screening. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you a little teaser on one of them. You guys have heard me talk about scheduling dates straight to the house. You can get out of 10 girls, you can get about half to agree. Okay, I, I have a whole video about that. I say, do you like wine? The chick says, yes. I say, cool, we could split a bottle of wine in my new apartment and see how the chemistry is. Do you prefer red or white? Which is a sales technique, it's a decision close. If she says red or she says white, in both cases, she's coming to your house. So about half, about five out of 10, would pick red or white in there and then henceforth would come to your house. Now the other five would give some sort of safety objection, okay? Or some sort of, I don't hook up with strangers objection. What if you're a serial killer? What if you're a murderer? I'd prefer to meet in public first. I don't just go to strangers' houses on the first date. I, you know, I never go to someone's house. I don't know you. Um, I'm not looking to just hook up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So for those five, I would say, LOL, I'm really laid back. Don't worry. Bring pepper spray for that worried LMAO. This is over text. I don't usually type LMAO, but it softens it. It makes it funny. That converts about two or three out of those five to come to the house, okay? Out of those five that originally object, objected, and if it's a sexual objection, like, oh, I I'm, don't think I'm just going to hook up with you, then I'll say, um, don't worry, I have no sexual expectations. Okay, whatever happens, happens. Let's just hang out and see if we have chemistry. Now, for those remaining two or three, I've talked about how in, like, going on those public dates can largely be a waste of time because all times the girls won't pull back, pull home to the house. So what I started implementing this, this weekend, this idea I had, was saying, like, getting the whole pull frame out of the way, not just to frame it, like post date I'm talking about, pulling back your house after the date, not just to fr the public date, not just to frame it, but also as a screen. So what I mean by that is I would say to the girl, say she's like, no, I, I don't meet strangers like in public, okay? What I would say is, um, okay, cool, let's meet at such and such coffee place and or such and such place for dinner or whatever because I had to go on a couple dinner dates in this weekend just because the dates were stacked back to back to back and I'm going to go over what time slots each girl was in and what the activity was okay for the date um, and what type of lead source it was whether it be online or night okay none of these there were zero day game day game closes as usual day games largely a waste of time okay so um what I would say is, okay, let's meet at such and such place for coffee, and then if we have chemistry, we can go chill at my place after. Sound good? And I'd place emphasis, if, still if she was like, ah, uh, I don't know, I'd be like, only if there's chemistry, like chemistry is the most important, okay? If they agreed to that, then I would meet up with them. If they did not, because of course there's gonna be fucking chemistry, okay? Which is code word for just like, don't be a fucking weirdo, and also be high value enough, and I've been on thousands of dates, and I know how to accomplish those things and set sexual frames so that things are gonna go down um, afterwards, okay? If she said no, or like I prefer to go on a bunch of dates first, I would meet up with them, okay? Now, going across the three days, I literally arrived at the airport, okay, in the city that I did this, and this was in uh, Charleston, South Carolina, okay? And there's a girl I really like down there now, so I didn't want to fucking, <laughs> she knows, I told her about my job, my channel, so it's fine though, because she was kind of at the the end of the mayhem, um, but she's like a full package dream chick for me, more on that in another video, so I arrive at 4 p.m., okay, on a Friday, now, I made a note at the top of each day. I had four girls straight to the hotel on that Friday, and I had one club pull. So, my first day was at 4.30. Like, I literally was meeting her there around the same time I arrived in the taxi from the fucking airport, okay? Had her at 4.30, closed that. 
Tattooed chick, really nice ass, is my description. Brunette. Then 6.30, another girl straight to the hotel. Redhead, with a nice ass. Um, then I had an 8.30 straight to the hotel. That chick had big tits. I had a blonde with a tight body. That was at 10 p.m. Okay, notice how I'm scheduling these all mostly two hours apart, except the final one, which is an hour and a half. And there's a whole bunch of things I had to do, like if a date finished early, date, <laughs> these ones of the house, are, but you talk for like 10, 15 minutes, and then you get into hooking up. Um, and I had I had switched uh, Tinder Plus and other online game apps to the area before I arrived. That's how I was able to set up dates in advance, okay? Um, then I had a nightclub pull. I had one of my old main wings, okay? He, I was visiting him, and so I had a night game pull and closed that. But notice, I'm always talking about how leads and dates are far more important than taking a girl home from a nightclub, okay? Just because in terms of the sheer amount of volume, and there's so much work you have to do in a nightclub in order to get her home. You have to diffuse the cock blocks. You have to get her to leave the venue with you. There's distractions in the venue, all, all this bullshit, okay? A date straight to the house is the ideal situation. It should be sought after in most cases. Um, let's see. Saturday, four straight to the hotel, two meeting at Starbucks first, one dinner, one club pull. Okay, so I got a late start to this day, actually. See, this is what I mean. I left some on the table. I could, I could have... I actually... I had one set for 11.30. A lot of times they'll start planning for like 11, 11.30. And that chick had the flu and she sent me all these texts. And I was like, are you sure you're not just flaking? And it seemed pretty legitimate. Okay, but that would have been another one. But that didn't go down. So the first one that closed was straight to the hotel at 1 p.m. That girl had a really nice ass. Then a girl at 3 p.m. Starbucks first. That girl had... I'm just like writing their best features. That girl had nice tits and ass and tattoos. Uh, then 5 o'clock Starbucks. Platinum blonde with really nice tits. Then dinner date at 6.30. I think I was a little late for that because of the previous one. Like there, there's, there's various strategies to, to cut out. You know, like if I have shit to do, etc. I have to go meet my friends. I have to get on a work call, whatever, whatever it might be to kind of get the, 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 the one that's there out of your hair, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, okay, so dinner at 6.30. That took about 45 minutes, pulled back, banged the shit out of her a couple rounds. This was a college chick, 32 double Ds. That was fun. Um, then a little bit of an older chick. That was at 8.30, straight to the hotel. But she was hot. She was like a MILF chick. Um, then a 20-year-old at 10.30. Now, here's, here's, here's a cool thing. Like So my wing, that guy was talking about, my advanced former man wing, he was texting me. He's like, I have a two set in game terms. Okay, that means two girls that were down. Okay, I had a bunch of club makeouts too, by the way, on, on all three nights um, that didn't pull. Like with other phone numbers and leads that I couldn't even work because I had to fucking fly out of there. So I had, okay, so it, my wing's like, I have two girls for us. They want to come back with us, but they want to meet you first. And he's at the club and he's like, come here. And I had a chick that I've been working over text during the dinner and she's like, I can meet you at your place at 10.30. And so I ended up banging her, and I ended up getting out to the club too late. And the chick that was going to be for me left, and my wing was making out with the other chick. I'm just reading through my notes here. We had the other chick, but ultimately she would not pull home because she was getting tired and all this shit. Then I had a club makeout with no pull. Then I had a club makeout and a pull. This chick had, like, Polish background, but she was American. So my hook in was like telling her all about Poland because I lived there last year. Then I got on the phone at 3 in the morning. I was like blasting some club numbers I got. And I got a chick finally to come over at like 3.30 in the morning. That was still awake. Um, and it, I had like framed that for the end of the night meetup. Like I had ran into her in the club. I was like, you're, like I, I was just about to leave the club. I was like, I think you're hot as fuck. This chick was like by herself way in the bathroom. I was like, I think you're hot as fuck. Let's meet later on tonight. I'm like, no, seriously. Like, I want to meet you later on tonight. I want you to come over to where I'm staying. And she's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Like, I see my friends are doing, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, I'm going to text you. I'm going to call you. And you're going to come. So I ended up having to Uber her. She was at a house party after I ended up Ubering her over. Sunday, two to the hotel, two to Starbucks, one dinner. And then 
instead of another slot that I could have filled, I saw the, the full package dream chick that I really liked. I don't know why I did that in quotes. This is how I'm referring to her. So straight to the hotel at 12.30. This chick was like a hired gun promoter type chick. Then I had a 1.30. This was like a tight time crunch. That was a Starbucks. Okay. And then she came over. Let's see. Then I had a chick straight to the hotel at 3, but my 1.30 was running a little over, so that ended up going until 3.30. Then I had a Starbucks at 5.30. Then I went for a dinner at 7.30. And I could have stacked a night slot, but I ended up going out with the girl that I really like. Again, the club, and then she slept over. And now I've been talking to her on the phone for like hours a night, which is uncharacteristic. But she's super smart and also a model and hyper analytical like me. So that has some serious promise. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. I will go into the details. I need to write out the field report on that stuff. And I want to make this, the reason why I want to make this into a product is I think if I go through like all the principles that I covered, like let me, I typed out in my fucking notes here. Jesus. Let's get sent a titty pick. Fake titty pick. Um, one second here. Um, sorry, one sec. Um, that girl I was just talking about actually so uh, oh yeah let me go in my notes I wrote down some key principles and again a lot of this is gonna be reserved for the product and guys are like oh blah, blah, blah. give it all for free I will go over a lot of it for free on YouTube okay the fuck is it oh actually I think I wrote it's on the same document so I have it on the computer okay here are the key principles. Okay, volume is huge. That means quantity of leads. Okay, that's going to widen your funnel at the top so you can get a lot of closes. Okay, in this case, 18 in a fucking weekend. All right, that's that's more than even even against my own results. I came out of college having been with 17 chicks in four years of undergraduate. Okay, so I beat that in three days. Chose. Back then, my skills versus now my skills. Okay, most community guys that I know of, okay, just from the forums and, and coaching this stuff for a decade, uh, most guys are between like five and twenty count, lifetime count. Okay, the average for a male, I think in the U.S., is like six or seven. Okay, I, I beat that in one day on Saturday. And a lot of you are like, oh, this isn't a pissing contest. This isn't like a race to bang the most girls. Yes, of course, but this is a skill game. And I've really, really, really fucking optimized and pushed the skills to the limit in this, okay? And there's some very, very key innovations and patterns that emerged from the data and like the time crunch aspect and really trying to max things out. I was leveraging a lot of stuff I already knew, but I had like a bunch of epiphanies, which I'll tell you at almost 1,200 lays, and this is so far out of most of your realities because you can't even relate to sleeping with that many girls. And that's just bang closes, like sex closes. I don't know how many other were just blowjobs or just hand jobs that didn't close, or how many other club makeouts or dates that were amazing that didn't close. Okay, there's I've 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 had I've had thousands of dates. I've I've interacted with over tens of thousands of girls, but to to be coming up on twelve hundred days, twelve hundred literally one point two k, which is fucking insanity, and be like still achieving new insights and new patterns, and seeing new patterns and insights and, and being able to drive more innovation into this game that I already love. Okay, that I already thought I had extremely optimized, which I do, but there's even more room for improvement. And that's what keeps this continuously fun. When I graph out my lay count, so to speak, you see it rising exponentially. Okay, and of course that, using a mathematical nerdy term, it, it asymptotes at a point, there's only so, <laughs> I'll credit RSD Jeffy on this. He wrote in a post, and I thought this was very eloquent. He wrote, there are physical and temporal limits <laughs> to the amount that he can fuck, 
okay, which is true, okay, you, and, and it's not, at some point, it's going to be d diminishing returns, like, like, I was getting fucking dehydrated, like, on the Sunday, since things were so stacked up, I didn't even have my first meal till dinner, okay, like, I lost a little bit of weight, I was basically, it was just, like, intense cardio fucking, like, and, I, and a lot of these girls, too, were telling me, like, that was the best sex I've ever had by far, and I was rotation framing them all, even though I didn't live there, just to explore that side of things. I was saying key things to lock them into rotation on the first time without having to do the whole three dates rule that I've brought up a whole bunch of times before. Um, you know, three dates to get them on rotation. I was locking them in hard in rotation. A lot of them were like, these the best orgasms I've, ever, orgasms I've ever had, the strongest orgasms I've ever had, the best sex I've ever had by far. Most of them were saying that, Okay. And, but I was just engaged in, like, this intense fucking, like, for three days straight, like a fucking animal, okay? <laughs> like, not drinking very much water, like, not even getting adequate nutrition and meals. I think the one day I had, like, three coffee dates. I'm all, like, amped up on caffeine with, like, no calories in my stomach. But th this is for science, okay? This <laughs> it's also a, a Jeffy quote. For science. Okay? This is my job. I was basically doing data collection, data analysis, and semen depositing. Again, highly recommend a vasectomy, so you don't have to worry about pregnancies. Here are the main principles, without further ado. Volume. Great sex skills. Giving them the full package of value, okay, being the full package man, okay. Unlike Corey Wayne, who teaches to be the, the 3% <laughs> man. Uh... I'm going to go over all the text thread in the product. I'm going to go over all the text thread screenshots, okay? Where I break down exactly what's happening in each conversation. And it's my my game and my methods and my techniques are very, very, very systematic. Okay, they're very, not mechanistic to the point of being boring or robotic, but mechanistic in terms of the brutal efficiency and effectiveness, okay? I'm constantly optimizing and evolving so I can find shortcuts to shortcuts. Okay, that, that's what one student described what I'm doing. And I think that's a very nice <clears throat> phrase. It's a little bit meta. I'm not just finding shortcuts to accomplish things faster. I'm finding shortcuts to the shortcuts. I'm, I'm taking this large body of data. And again, for those of you that are not familiar with my background, my hyperanalytical analytical background, I studied a double bachelor's in computer science and philosophy, a double master's in human computer interaction and philosophy of cognitive science. I almost, well, I took the LSAT, I almost went to law school, and um, I almost did a PhD on uh, cognitive neuroscience or philosophy of mind, but I worked on nuclear missiles for five years, optimizing, if there's a nuclear, biological, or chemical missile attack, how do we optimize the speed of response time and the accuracy of response? Um, I used to play professional poker. I'm very good at optimizing systems, Okay. So I'm the perfect person to amass this huge amount of data, which I've devoted my life to, for better or worse, and then find out how to close the girl as fast as possible and keep the retention as high as possible, okay, and, and really blow their mind in, ter within terms of what I'm offering from a value standpoint, with my personality, and sex-wise, okay. Um, another note I hear, another category that's important is how to run the public dates. Okay, there's a system to that. Another one is demonstrations of higher value. There's a whole bunch of go-to things that really showcase I'm um, the full package for her. Scheduling, rescheduling, having backups. I had some flakes during this weekend that weren't even mentioned in those statistics because I never I never got to meet up with them, but I had girls ready for backup. How to have a kick-ass online game profile. That's where a lot of this stems from. How to run the meetup straight to the house. Okay, how do you how do you run that? If the girl shows up at your house, what do you do from start to close? Um, framing that you live in the city or city that you're in. Okay, I think that the weekend would have gone a lot different if I said, "Hey, I'm just in town for the weekend." Instead, and this is a little bit immoral, immoral is, I said, and I'm doing this of course just to, to not give myself a huge disadvantage. I'm, I said, "Hey, I just moved here." That's what I say in every city I'm traveling to, even if I'm there for a day. Okay, I don't want the tourist frame because that will scare girls away. I say, hey, I just moved here. I'm staying in a hotel while I look for a penthouse. Okay, the penthouse is a DHV. I have lived in multiple penthouses. The point isn't to try to be cool. It's to show like, okay, I'm a successful, cool guy. I run my, I just said don't try to be cool, but you're cool. 
it's not overtly bragging. It's like, I'm in a hotel because I'm looking for a penthouse to live in. Okay, but that doesn't hurt. It, it imports a bunch of successful, you know, well-to-do, etc. Um, but that gives an excuse for why you're meeting at a hotel. How to, and this is one of the key improvements I made, how to frame the girl to your house after the public date as a DTF screen. Okay, you're doing this over text message in advance. Right? Remember, this is for the case when she insists on meeting in public, and I say, cool, let's meet for coffee, but if we have good chemistry, then let's, um, let's meet in my place after. Let's go to my place after. Sound good? Um, and during night game, how to troll and <laughs> crack jokes, like me and my, my former main wing during like the, the pure mayhem and debauchery of this weekend, we we're just constantly like, cracking jokes, okay, making jokes to other guys at the venue, making jokes to other girls at the venue, just having an amazing time, all right, rather than being like, okay, we need to be all serious and do our approaches. And then there's a whole segment I want to talk about with answering objections over text. I'll probably give high-level overviews of each of these things, and there's still a whole bunch more. Um, I wrote up a whole section on how I was quick rotation framing, all the different things I was doing for that. I wrote up a section on the supplies that I had, which included maca. I have a video about that. I was taking maca almost in between every session because, yes, I was busting nuts from every single session. And some girls, I went multiple rounds. I don't think I went any more than two rounds with any girls just because there wasn't enough time. And I knew I had to, like, pace myself. <laughs> it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Uh, L-arginine, which is, increases the blood flow. Uh, a couple other libido and, and sex type supplements, not Viagra, Cialis or anything like that. I've never tried those. And then condoms just for the cases where they insist on condoms, even though I have a, sec have a vasectomy. Um, okay. Coming up on about a half hour. I hope that really broadens your mind. Okay. This was very kind of satisfying, not just cause I get to bang a whole bunch of hot chicks, but it was satisfying to see my game, like Comparing where my game used to be back in the day, um, you know, getting, you know, 18, 18 girls across multiple months, and now I was able to do that in three days, okay? Or getting eight girls in a month, and I was able to do that in one day. Okay, so it's like this telescoping phenomenon. It keeps speeding up faster and faster. Now, I ran a boot camp in D.C. last weekend, <clears throat> and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't fucking going balls to the wall like this because I was mostly training and so there was not anywhere near 18 closes okay so but it just shows what I have the potential to do or what what I can teach guys to have the potential to do because I can break this all down in full detail and this can be replicated and the reason why I wanted to call the the product three-day rotation is you could literally follow all these moves that I followed okay in any city whether it be the city you're currently living in or if you go to move to a new city or if you're going to travel and Follow these steps and all these different methods and concepts into this big system, and then you can have a whole bunch of closes, and then you pick the best ones, and you have your five-girl rotation, your eight-girl rotation, your three-girl rotation, whatever it is that you desire, okay, that you can handle both from, like, how much free time you have and how much you desire, how many regular hot girls you desire to have in your life, and that's it. Like, hypothetically, like, after... I almost said smashing out. I will say smashing out. After smashing out those 18 girls, I can just take the ones I want and not game anymore. Like hypothetically, like I could like stop game permanently. And I could just run that rotation until I want to add more to the rotation or replace the entire rotation or I'm sick of all the girls and I want to get like a, a different girlfriend option or whatever. And I could just run it again, run that system again for three days and just pile back up, closes, and then take the, which, so this is very, it, it's like, the product would basically describe how to be the most extremely, brutally, lethally effective and efficient, okay, the Leeds Machine and Occam still give you all the core fundamentals that are absolutely essential, but it wasn't until I really went balls to the wall and maxed things out and innovated even further and really tied everything together and, and really was very, <clears throat> Like, down and dirty, like, let's fucking get this done. <laughs> My poor sisters. Um, <clears throat> they're like, we can't date regularly anymore because we, we see how you are. 
good news is most guys are fucking faggots. Pussies. So, that's that. Uh, but, that that's it. I mean, I, I will go in full detail on this. This should be, of course, there's lots of subtle things that go into my framing and personality and all the stuff that I've cultivated over years. But I would venture to say that you can achieve, you know, beyond your wildest dreams in three days, the results that you were previously getting, okay? It's not going to be 18, but it's going to be several girls. And then you can take your top three or, or you can run this for three more days, okay? And then you can, the, the point is, is that it, in a very short period of time, you can build up a rotation, which means multiple hot girls or get your like solid high quality girlfriend in a very, very short amount of time. So you don't have to do like in, in the community and in the, in the seduction teaching world, it's like, I have to go out for months and months and months or years and years and, the, and then only then will I be able to have a girl, a regular girl or two. No, I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly, very, 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 very effectively and efficiently and optimally. Okay, the most brutally, lethally effective way that I have ever uh, conceived of or, or, you know, synthesized together into one coherent plan okay so that is that uh look forward to that i'm also launching my mentorship my eight-week mentorship next month the videos will be released on that in the near future we're just tying up a bunch of loose ends um oh last but not least i am running probably my final program for a long time i'm running a miami program miami florida in march it's starting on March 26th and running through March or April 5th. It's going to be a 10 day, but you, you can join for any period of that. I, I already have a guy signed up for just the first three days of it. Um, you can join for, traditionally I do three days, seven day or 10 day. Okay, so you can join for that whole 10 spots permitted or seven or three. Those are Those are like the most uh, popular options, but for any thing between three and seven, I'm willing to, to train you for that period of time as well. I'm going to be there training at least for those 10 days. Okay. In Miami, where there's amazing, uh, day game spots on Lincoln road. Okay. Packed nightclubs every night of the week that are large and good for training. A lot of hot international exotic girls. If you are in the U S okay, especially if you're on the East coast, contact me ASAP at John Anthony lifestyle at gmail.com because those spots will fill up quick. Okay, my DC program this past weekend was full. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to Brazil next week for a month. But let me know about the Miami program if you have any interest at all, we can discuss details and pricing. Thank you so guys, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so guys for tuning in much. Thank you so much guys. Uh, I will follow with more details, get into some of these topics at a more higher level. And I'll be putting together a product that will be the, the holy grail of seduction. Look how far we've come since mysteries shit about wearing peacocking garbage in 2005. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Uh, have a good rest of the week. I have my pro camera. I'm going I'm to be using that in Brazil. I've just been too lazy to set it up here. I was, almost was like, should I set up all the fucking pro shit for this video? No, I'll just use the webcam again. All right, dare to dream, 18 girls in a weekend. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, and who, who else is fucking doing that? Put in one last little humble brag. No one, no one's touching that. No coach out there is, I don't know what other people's record weekends are, but it's, it's a fraction, okay? So don't go anywhere else for your pickup advice, unless it's Coach Corey Wayne, okay? Thank you very much. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne. If you're struggling in your personal or professional life, I'd like to give you both of my best-selling self-help books for free so you can start turning things around right now. My first book, How to Be a 3% Man, will teach you pickup, dating, and relationship secrets to get an ex back, attract your dream lover, or to improve a failing relationship. Pressure, pressure, pressure.